Daytona in the uh, pitcher. How you doing today? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, Josh Heron. I raced the War Horse HSBK race in Ducati D2. And uh, this is our bike. We're racing this weekend. Just qualified. We got full. This is kind of unique because we got uh, pit stops for this race. So normally it's, you know, not quick change stuff. So this bike uh, is going to have all these. Dan, you want to show them some of this quick change stuff? Like just tell them what's different. Uh, 14, but, 14 second uh, yeah. tire change so because, was, you're, because you're racing 200 miles, but right? that was also with having the uh, lines we got to cross. So normally it's, it's an eight second pit stop. It's crazy. That's rear wheel, front wheel, and fuel. Eight seconds? Yeah. I was watching the privateers. They were thrilled that they got it down to 14. Oh, yeah, they were thrilled. You're doing an eight. That's impressive. It's nice. And that used to be, you know, this is single sided swing on, so we have an advantage because instead of pulling the wheel off and having to remove the chain and all that, we literally just pull it straight off the hub, put it right back on the chain, and everything stays in place. So it's, it's Very insane. cool. Yeah, that's a big advantage to the single sided swing arm. I never really thought about that, but in a racing situation, that's key. So you had a fast time today, you got pole position for them off? Yeah, we got pole, so that's good. We got pole last year also, but last year we, we actually ran out of fuel in the middle of the race. Oh man, so that, that's, so that's, that's never a good thing. <laughs> How's the bike runner? Is it awesome? Must be really good if you are got pole position, right? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's, uh, you know, one of my favorite bikes I've ever raced. I'm sad I'm not racing it again this year, but now this year we're racing the new V4R, which is 250 horsepower, so it's, wow. it's a lot of fun. How do you like the track? Uh, the track's fun. I've been racing at Daytona since I was 16. I'm 32 now. We won this race 13 years ago, so to me it's it's awesome just going 180 miles an hour, two feet from the wall, and being in a pack of 15 guys. There's nothing else on it. For, as from a spectator standpoint, it's awesome seeing you guys fly by at a 180 miles an hour, however fast yeah. you're going. It's insane. Yeah, I, I love watching it. It gives you chills, you know, especially when you hear a whole pack of them go by. Yeah. It's, it's nothing else like it. Well, your team here is really on point between everything. Everything you guys do is first class here, and they've got the fastest guy twisting the throttle. So. I'm sure you're gonna have a great time tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get you on one. Yeah, uh, I don't know. My, I think I'm too old. I, I'm, 50, <laughs> nah. I'm 58. I think, is Did there you a see limit? Jeremy McWilliams in the the uh, King of the Baggers. How old is he? Ex MotoGP rider. He's on the Factory Indian. He's 60 something. Well, maybe there's some hope yeah. for me. <laughs> just awesome. Yeah, the suspension brakes on this thing just beautiful. So I heard you're you're uh, where are you going after? Daytona. Uh, we go so we go to Spain for the uh, Ducati V4 or sorry Ducati Street Fighter launch. So we have that, and then we'll have a trip to Phoenix after that. We go and ride with some local Ducati owners clubs, and then we got a month until uh, our next race in Atlanta. So awesome. a little bit of break after that, just having some fun and riding bikes. So this is the start the start of of the the new season for you here, yeah, right? Yeah, it's the first one, and it's the most fun one too. With this, with me not doing the championship on this bike, it kind of takes some pressure off. And uh, just allowed us to have a lot of fun. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a random away. Mr. Faraci himself, the legend. <laughs> He's been at it. Uh, I've been a huge fan of his since the beginning. Uh, you know, I remember yeah. seeing him back here in, in the season was in the 90s. I've known him for a while, but I didn't get to know him until last year. And he's one of the nicest guys. He doesn't forget anybody. He'll never forget you now. That's so, awesome. He'll always remember you. You're hired, sir. Not obviously very highly intelligent. Godfather. The godfather of Ferracci. Yes, Mr. Ferracci. That's awesome. I had his stuff on my Ducati 900 SS back in the day, back in the 90s, yeah. We used to road race him from Unadilla, uh, Laconia, street racing all the you know time. he's the first uh, guy to get a Supercross win for Escobana? I actually, I actually saw that. Uh, somebody had that bike here uh, in, in the uh, um, vintage, uh, the 2002, wasn't it? I think it was 01, 02, yeah. Yeah, that bike was here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Former factory bike. Yep, I got some video of it. Still, 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 still those motors are awesome, the two-stroke motors. Oh, man. You ever seen a 500 GP bike up there? No. They're two-strokes, right? Yeah. Are you doing Isle of Man? No, I wish. One day, uh, Motul, well, I've been there. there's a good chance I'll be going there with Motul to film oh, it. Oh, you'll love it. Yeah. I've been there to watch it. It's, there's nothing like it in person. Flying by you at 150 miles an hour. Is, is, that, is that on your to-do list? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to ride it, and then the sponsor of the event wanted English riders only on the parade lap, so I didn't yeah. get to do it. But I went there, watched, had a good time, and for sure I want to A good, good friend of mine is an actual citizen of, the, of uh, Isle of Man. Isle of Man. He actually got married over there, and he's a five-time 
veteran of, of the race. He's a nice. former pro factory rider. He's 65, but if we go over, he's going to come with me, and he's going to like know where to go to yeah. film and narrate yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, stuck. And I went and watched. You get stuck in certain parts when you close the roads down. Yep. So if you're not at the right club, you're Yeah, he's... he's uh, I'd be lost over there. I wouldn't. I'd have no clue where to go. But Bill, Bill Blythe is his name, and there's a good chance we'll be there this year. So, thanks to Motul, they've been sponsoring us. And it, it flew me to the car for the rally. Yeah, in the middle of the desert, filming filming the, the bikes out there, January uh, 9th through like 12th. Well, that was a cool adventure. Well, hey, I gotta run, but Thank you so really much. You, really man. appreciate yeah. you taking the time. Love your Ronnie Mac video. Thanks, bud. Take care. War Horse Racing, Ducati. He's the best. What's happening, brother? How you doing? These guys are. And that's the legend right there, Mr. Ferracci. They got the pole position, so I suspect they got a really good shot at winning tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. God bless America. This is their rig here, the Ducati War Horse Racing. Look at this thing. Will you just look at it? Absolutely badass. Black and red with the white. It looks really good. Tractor's all blacked out. Mr. Ferracci, everything he does is first class. I mean, he's uh, from the rigs. To the, to the mechanics, the riders, everything is top shelf. And they win a lot. No coincidence. Beautiful Peterbilt tractor. The uh, semi is just next level. I mean, this is what you'd expect to see uh, at this level. But, uh, you know, it's on, on par with the uh, NASCAR. Haulers, it's basically the same thing, but just impressive to see how much effort they put into to uh, achieve this level of, of greatness in racing. Um, I mean, there must be 25 guys here working on the bikes, and Mr. Ferracci is, himself is here, and it's it's seven o'clock on on Saturday night. It doesn't look like they're slowing down anytime soon. And there's some stiff competition here. You've got all the factory teams are going to be here everybody in the industry who wants to uh, sell bikes on Monday wants to win on Sunday you got the Vance and Hines factory team here the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle rig with the king of the baggers full factory efforts and the 200 that's like the Daytona 200 it's like the Super Bowl it's definitely the Super Bowl Of motorcycle racing. Look at this rig. Wow. That is one beautiful truck. This has a super sleeper on it. it looks like about a 15 foot sleeper. That's basically a camper on the inside. So whoever the driver is could basically live in this thing for six months at a time. Just beautiful. Side entry door. Another great day here at Daytona. 31 years I've been coming here. Love this place. Heading over to see the flat track racing tonight and then uh, the Daytona 200 tomorrow and day in the dirt down south, so stay tuned. Been an absolute blast here today. Thanks for watching. God bless the United States of America.